Good afternoon, students. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. In yesterday's class, we completed hashing, hashing techniques. So, any doubt with respect to the topics what we discussed in the previous classes? So, today is going to be the revision class of Unit Four. So, in Unit Four, we have two major topics. Screen is visible. So we have trees and hashing techniques. With respect to trees, we discussed uh, how the tree comes under linear and non-linear data structures, and uh, general trees, binary tree, binary search tree, AVL tree, B tree, then expression tree, decision tree, and the red black tree, splay trees. Based on the same topics, uh, we have two lab experiments in your uh, syllabus, binary search tree implementation and binary tree traversal implementation. Then we discussed, uh, we started with the topic hashing. We have three major subheadings under hashing, introduction to hashing, hashing functions and methods of hashing, how to resolve the collision in hashing. So any doubt with respect to those topics? We saw what is a tree and how it is related to our real life uh, scenario. Definition and explanation. What are the terms, keywords associated with the tree while creating a tree structure? What are all the parameters of a tree? So a tree can be represented as an T and it's having root, it must have root node, and the root node will be the parent, parent node. The root, root node will not have any other, it's not having any parent. And uh, the nodes which are inherited from root are called child nodes. And if the child is a grand, uh, leaf node, it won't have any other child. And within the tree structure, we have the following. Uh, Keywords and uh, relationships among the various attributes. We have the parameter called external node. The nodes which are in the the leaf nodes are called external nodes. And internal nodes means if a node is having branches or children, then it is an internal node, a center node, descent node, ordered. The tree is ordered if it is if the elements are placed in a particular order. Path of an uh, path of any two nodes. How we are reaching the from source to destination in a tree from one node to another node using which path? And the root of the tree, parent node. The root node is a parent node as well as uh, the nodes which are having children are called parent nodes or internal nodes. Child nodes are if it is having any parent, then it is child node. Within a tree, we can have a number of subtrees. And visiting all the nodes in a tree is called tree, tree traversal. Levels of the tree. So we have the levels of the tree. We will start from root node. The root node is in level 0. The child node will be in level 1. Then grandchild will be in level 2 like that. And the very key is the value which is stored in, inside the node. Siblings are the nodes which are in the same level, or the children belongs to the same parent. Depth of, depth of the tree and height of the tree. So those are the terms associated with the tree structure. Say for example, if you take this particular no, uh, tree, it's having a root node. The uh, edge which is connecting the node A and node C is called an edge. The same way, any two different nodes are connected with each other through an edge. And here, the depth starts from root node. The root node in depth 0, child node in depth 1, child, grandchild in depth 2. The leaf nodes are in depth 3. And according to height, we will start from leaf node to parent root node. So the leaf nodes are in height 0, like ground floor, first floor, second floor. 
So the parent uh, root node is in height three because here we have four layers. The indexing starts from zero. The nodes which are not having any children are called leaf nodes. So here also you can easily understand. We have root edges. The value stored inside the no node is called key. Height of the tree. The height starts from 0, 1, 2, 3. From leaf node to root node. So within this node, this particular B, D, E is a subtree. For this particular subtree, B is the parent node. B is the parent node and uh, the, if you take B as a subtree, B is parent, left child and right, right child. The node D and E are belongs to the same parent and they are in the same level. So we'll call it as siblings. The level starts from root one, root uh, zero, level one, root node is in level zero, level one, level two, height starts from leaf node to root node. And if you take, um, Binary tree means uh, it can have maximum two children. Perfect binary tree means all the leaf node will be in the same level. And uh, all the parent will be having maximum two children. And all the left and right childs will have complete leaf nodes. And uh, we discussed other properties of a tree. The root because uh, Every uh, tree has a special node. The root node can be used to, to traverse every node of the tree. It is called root because the tree is originated from the root. And every tree can have a number of vertices or nodes. To connect all the nodes in a tree, we need n minus 1 vertices. If the number of vertices in a no, tree is more than n minus 1, then there, uh, that is, if there are n nodes, we need n minus 1 edges. If uh, the nodes are connected with uh, greater than n minus 1 edges means, then it is not a tree. It becomes a graph. Every child has only a single parent. The parents can have multiple children. If they are having maximum two children, then it becomes binary tree. And the tree is an abstract data type. And uh, we are calculating the depth and height of the height of the tree based on level 1 to level n. And uh, we can perform the various operations like uh, we can add an element in the root node, left child, right child. We can replace an existing node. We can delete a node and we can attach a node for uh, most of the operations, arithmetic operations like addition, deletion, searching. Each process, each executable statement needs order of one. Then we discussed the types of trees. Binary tree means, binary means uh, binary decimal system. So in the binary decimal, uh, binary number system, we have only two uh, values, zero and one. Maximum two, zero and one. So if any tree is having maximum two children, then it comes under binary tree concept. The number of uh, nodes in a binary tree will be always two, and the, uh, the root node will have left child and right child. Based on the binary tree, we are getting binary search tree. Binary search tree, we follow the constraint. The left child or uh, child node must be smaller than or equal to or its value of the parent node, and the value of the right child should be always longer than the are equal to its parent. So the left should be, left child should be less than the root node and the right child should be greater than the root node. So that we are getting an ordered uh, list, left, root and right, small, greater and greatest. So even in the subtree also, the same constraint is implemented. Left is one, small, greater and greatest. So a binary tree with the, if the values are stored in, an, in the left is less, root is greater, the right child node is greatest means 
then it is called binary search tree so when you go you uh, traverse the no nodes in a particular in, in order traversal then you will get an sorted list so that we can easily search for any element when we start the searching process the nodes uh, the data should be in already start, so, sorted form especially in binary search then uh, we saw the avl tree in avl trees this is self balancing binary search tree avl means uh, we will perform the avl rotations here we are applying one more constraint the height of the child of a node differ by at most one we already discussed what is height height is uh, calculated from leaf node to the leaf node is in uh, height 0 height 1 height 2 so height 0 height 1 height 2 so the nodes the parent and child will ha will have the maximum height difference of 1 if it is not having that balancing then we need to perform the aerial rotation so that the balancing is implemented then we discussed to the b trees a b tree is here another self balancing search tree that comprises many nodes to keep the data stored in a particular order each node has uh, over two child nodes each node comprises of multiple keys so here uh, a binary search tree with self balancing and here we are uh, adding one more uh, relaxation a node can have uh, as over two child so it can have more than two child so more than two child means this particular node is having 1 2 3 4 5 childs here this particular right sub tree is uh, right child is having three childs and each uh, child can have n number of keys so here here we have only one key but here it's having three keys then three keys so why we are using this means uh, say yeah we are creating clusters say the values are in single digit from uh, 0 to 10 they are in um, 20s 40s 50s and here and anyhow we need to maintain the binary search tree constraint root uh, left child is smaller root is greater right is greatest and here root is smaller left child is small and the root node is having greater value right child is having greater than root node in nra tree it is the maximum number of children a node can have he is limited to n say for example if you take a two array tree you can have two array tree three array tree like that each node in the binary tree has maximum two children a full nra tree is in which uh, the children of the node is uh, either zero or n so here uh, we can group the elements in such a way that we can maintain a particular order what is the why we are using trees what is the advantage of using trees means so it gives you a way of representing the data in an hierarchical form the tree reflects the data structure connections how the data are interconnect uh, interrelated with each other the tree is used to, to represent the hierarchical relationship among the data it offers an efficient search so because uh, the data is represented using uh, hierarchical relationship so it is uh, we can easily perform the addition subtraction the various um, data structure related uh, basic operations like adding deleting modifying updating displaying searching those processes are uh, less complex compared to other data structures say uh, in uh, adding deleting the elements in a stack queue link list is an tedious process but here somewhat simple compared to other data structures the tree has uh, it allows the sub trees to be located relocated with minimal effort then we discussed what is a tree traversal tree traversal means visiting all the nodes in a tree in general we will put some constraint we need to visit all the nodes only once in a particular order so that uh, and with minimum distance we have to visit especially the concept is used in a tree tra shortest path algorithms uh, traveling salesman problem so in that case our aim is to travel less distance and uh, complete the process and only once we have to visit we should not visit any node more than once 
and uh, the tree traversal can be performed in three different ways. It may be in order because uh, we are talking about binary search tree. Binary means maximum two children along with parent. So we will have maximum any subtree we will have. If you go with the recursive procedures, any subtree will have maximum three nodes, left, right and uh, root node. So with respect to the three ma major uh, uh, attributes of the tree like uh, left child, right child and parent, we can uh, visit the nodes in the in order form, pre order form, or post order form. Here, in order means the root node will be visited middle, second time, uh, second. And pre order means if you visit the root first, then left and right child, that is pre order. Pre means before, plus 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 i is pre fix. And post order means i plus plus. So, first we will visit uh, left and right. Last, we will visit root node. Say, for example, here, if you take the in order traversal, so the logic will be first visit the left child, then visit the root node, then visit the right child. Again, if you take the subtree, anyhow, the function will be called recursively. In that case, visit the left child, right ch uh, root, and right child. So, here, this particular subtree also left, root, and right. So in that way, the nodes will be visited. And if you take um, pre-order traversal, visit the root node first, then left subtree and uh, right subtree. And post-order means left, right, and root. So we'll visit the left child, right child, then root node. So the order will be left child, right child, and root node. So uh, in a binary tree, we have maximum left child, right child, and root node. So we are, we are having only three co combinations. Pre-order traversal, root, left, right. And in order means left, root, and right. Post order means left, right, and root. So any doubt with respect to the tree traversal techniques? What is tree? What are the terminologies associated with the tree? And uh, the different types of trees, like general tree, binary tree, binary search tree, AVL tree, B tree, and NRA tree. Any doubt so far? Then we have one more type called decision tree. So in the decision trees are used to, uh, we will represent the data what we have in a tree structure by traversing or uh, taking the choices. We can come to an, if you follow a particular path, we will come to a conclusion based on the values. Say if you are forecasting the weather, um, if the day is uh, sunny and it's uh, having humidity, and uh, high humidity is very high or normal based on we can uh, take one path so according to that we can predict whether the day is uh, hot or rainy or humidity wind speed moisture all those things and they are used to, to take uh, some decision the same way we can uh, represent the values of a um, patient whether he is having headache fever cold cough yes yes or no conditions then we'll come to a conclusion what about the lab test, blood test, all those things. We will predict what kind of, uh, whether he is having normal fever, viral fever or typhoid, like that. So the next type is called expression tree. Here uh, we are uh, representing the arithmetic, logical or uh, relational expressions in a tree structure form. Especially the operators will be mentioned in the root node. So that uh, the operator can be applied on any two operands. So the operands means the variables or constants that will be represent, uh, put inside the child, left child and right child. And the operators will be represented in the root so that uh, we can take the two operands or variables or constants, the operator will be applied so that we can evaluate and find out the result. Here this particular um, tree represents three plus one multiplied by three and seven minus four multiplied by three plus six 
so that we can easily evaluate and we will get the you know, this is one uh, expression another expression another expression it is a compound expression say for example the expression 3 plus 5 plus 9 star 2 is represented like this say the log of x the log is in the root x is x is here and factorial factorial is the function that is in the root then we discuss to the red black trees here it is also an the red black trees also they are also by uh, self balanced binary trees here uh, the red black tree also and tree binary tree as well as um, avl tree binary search tree all those things are there along with those uh, properties we are adding additional property we are adding colors to the nodes and we are putting some constraints to the nodes the black uh, root node should be black in color and um, if the root node is black the child should be in red color if the parent, uh, if the child is uh, red color the grandchild should be again in black color it means uh, any uh, uh, parent time ch child nodes should not take the same color it means the uh, consecutive nodes should not have the same color and all the child nodes or the leaf nodes will have uh, the link it's not having any other child so they are called uh, leaf nodes they will have the null value if those properties colors the consecutive nodes are having in different colors and the root node is always a black color and uh, parent and child will be in different colors and the leaf nodes uh, will have carry the nil address it's not having any other link so then it becomes a red black tree it is used in special conditions especially the signal processing traffic control where this kind of constraints can be applied in real time scenario then we discussed the spray trees the spray trees uh, are uh, self adjusting a binary search tree binary search tree and as well as uh, self adjusting self adjusting means uh, like avl tree so here uh, AV, uh, the tree automatically reorganizes itself that frequently accessed or inserted elements becomes closer to the root node so, so if you are adding or deleting an element from the spray tree it will adjust itself or it will rotate the nodes um, by itself so that it can maintain the balance and uh, how it is uh, rotating the elements means the frequently or most widely used data are placed near to the root or uh, in the root so that uh, the accessing processing time can be saved say bringing the most recently accessed or inserted element to the root of root of the tree by performing the sequence of tree rotations because it is an uh, avl special kind of avl tree and it's uh, putting like priority queue we are giving preference uh, to vips elderly people aged people or people with a disability so like that here also we are giving some preference like priority queues uh, so that the recently accessed or most widely used data will be kept near to the root or in the root say for example this is our given binary uh, yeah, search tree if you call the function spray of 2 so here we want to keep the node 2 and uh, very near to the root node or in the root node so we are uh, taking uh, rotating the nodes in such a way that the node 2 reaches the root node and uh, once the node 2 becomes root node we need to self adjust other nodes so that the binary search tree constraint is maintained when 2 becomes root node the left root right should take uh, the corresponding locations left should be less than root and right should be greater than the root so 2 becomes the root node then the uh, values which are less than 2 will come in the left child the values which are greater than which are uh, greater than 2 will come in the right hand side so we are moving the other nodes in such a way that the binary search tree constraint 4 5 6 left is 4 root is 5 right is 6 so it's again self uh, binary search tree again 3 uh, 2 3 
four, five, six. That binary search tree constraint is implemented. So, any doubt so far? The trees, general trees, binary trees, binary search trees, AVL trees, B trees, B plus uh, decision trees, expression trees, red black trees, and spray trees. Tree traversal in order, pre order, and post order tree traversal. So, I will take the attendance uh, from the um, Zoom recordings. Any doubt? Arnav? The meeting will end in another one minute. Any doubt? So, you go through the topics of Unit 4. And uh, I will upload uh, two materials with respect to unit four today. Ma'am, do we have to join again? Yeah, you know, you need not join. To complete the assignment three four, I think I today I uploaded one assignment now based on trees and hashing that you complete and upload and complete the project also. I need I like to see the demo on Tuesday. So I will take the attendance from the Zoom recording. Go through the topics if you have. Ask me in the next class. Manan Chavan, Manas Chavan, any uh, doubt? So Tuesday, I need the observation. And one, you can uh, complete that uh, hashing uh, program also. It is your last program in the syllabus because the topic is covered. Okay, all the complete the assignments and upload.